my name is Alcide. Uh, I'm an artist, and I uh, I use calligraphy, uh, uh, Arabic script, actually, in my uh, in my work as my main medium. And the goal of my work is to try to uh, build bridges, you know, between uh, people, generation, and culture through my artwork. When, where did you get the inspiration from? Um, I was born and raised in France, so um, I had this kind of identity crisis when I was a teenager. So I I ran into my uh, to my Arabic roots and try to and, and start learning how to read and write Arabic. And uh, the more I was digging into my uh, the more I was digging into my Arabic culture, the more actually my French identity was coming along. And I actually today it's a, it's a mix of both, you know, of my French identity and my Arab identity. And I and I find ironic and funny that actually this is my Arabic, uh, it's Arabic calligraphy who brought me back and made me accept my French identity. You've left your mark on several um, buildings um, where and how did you manage to do it? Some of these buildings are huge. Uh, I mean, the list is long, you know, like from Europe to North Africa to North America, South America, Asia, you know, like from places like, such as Rio de Janeiro, Cape Town, Kuala Lumpur, Paris, um, you know, the list is, it's, um, sometimes, you know, people invite me to paint, but uh, most of the time what I do, I try to build my, I try to build my own project. I, um, I go to places, I go, uh, I try to get, you know, open a dialogue about something that I want to talk about, and, uh, and through an art piece, I manage to, uh, to make this dialogue open. So how are you helping, um, communities or you know groups of people come together people of different cultures you know like the fact that arabic script actually was the bridge between my french and my arab identity i'm trying to use the same thing you know the same tool to bring culture together so everywhere i go i my work is inspired by the arab traditional the proverbial tradition where you know like the message come before the word with the name so Every place I go, I write messages that are relevant to the place where I'm painting, but has this universal dimension so anybody around the world can relate to it. And my goal is, um, you know, I would say like it's really um, utopic to say that you can solve a problem through art, but at least you can uh, create a discussion, shed light on a community, bring back a place on the map or something like that. And this is, you know, this is, I think, the, the, the pretension that I have to, to uh, to reach, you know, with my artwork. I'm not saying that I, I'm not a saver of anything, but I'm, I'm trying to use art as a pretext to human experiences. Can you give us examples of how it has impacted um, people? The, the most recent project that I did was actually in uh, Manchiat Nasser, which is a Cairo garbage collector neighborhood in Egypt. And the community has been collecting the garbage for decades, but because they're associated with trash, uh, everybody, you know, like look at them uh, in a marginalized way, so they are like segregated, and um, and people think that they live in the trash when actually they live from the trash, which is totally different. And uh, this project was for me a way to um, you know question the level of misconception we can have upon communities that we don't know. And uh, it was made there, but if this community of garbage collector were somewhere else in Peru or in Japan or anywhere else, I would have gone there. But because they were in Egypt, I want to meet them. And it was the most amazing human experience I've had in my life. It was like a life-changing thing for me and maybe for them as well. But it was just, uh, it was, m it made me believe like in humanity, seeing like how people actually, when you meet them, like they welcome me and my team in the best way that I could even think of. And uh, I left this place. I thought I left something there, like by painting something, but actually I left, uh, I left a family, you know, I left a family there and this is, this is the impact, you know, we didn't change anything there, but at least the perception of people in this community has changed. And also the perception, the way people think sometimes, you know, after seeing the project and how sometimes they have stereotype open communities has changed as well, I think.